Hello and welcome to the Paisley Abbey Reflection for today. In the midst of all these restrictions which are upon us for our own good, Sunday mornings and the lack of routine with not heading out to church has been really weird. But on the other hand, I don't have to get my children up and ready as normal or even have to concentrate on getting myself ready. Last Sunday though, we decided that actually it would be good to have some kind of focus for our Sunday morning and with the weather being so amazing here and here, we went on our new favourite lockdown walk to an old ruined castle tower which sits on the headland. In order to make sure that our family household unit of five didn't make too much of an impact for others whilst on narrow paths, we thought that an early start would be sensible. And it was. The sun was glorious. The beaches were almost deserted, the birds were singing, the wildlife was buzzing and humming and chirping and full of life all around us. As I sat on the headland on Sunday morning and saw the wonder in creation in front of me, I really did feel the great vastness of God. And in this past week, whilst I've been getting on with work, whilst in my study, I've enjoyed looking out of my window and being really aware of the changes in the trees in my garden as the leaves have unfolded and unfurled. The leaf casings have been dropping off into the ground and the bright, almost luminous green leaves of the horse chestnuts are opening and wiggling out into life in the sunshine. People have been seeing the amazing vastness of God in their surroundings since time began, St Hildegard of Bingen, a medieval visionary, composer and church leader, wrote of and mused upon this amazing wonder seen in nature and the God who created it. I am the one whose praise echoes on high. I adorn the earth. I am the breeze that nurtures all things green. I encourage blossoms to flourish with ripening fruits. I am led by the Spirit to feed the purest streams. I am the rain coming from the dew that causes the grasses to laugh with the joy of life. I call forth tears, the aroma of holy work. I am the yearning for good. Let us pray. Divine love and creator of all being, we bring ourselves before you today. For all those whose day starts with anxiety, for themselves or for their loved ones, we pray that they can feel the closeness of the risen Christ in their lives. We give thanks for the communities around us, for those who are working to keep us all safe. We pray that those around us tasked with making important decisions on our behalf can find wisdom and understanding of our nation's needs. We give thanks for each opportunity to encounter your healing and welcoming embrace as we continue to live our lives in such difficult times. Amen. And now let us join together saying the prayer which Jesus taught to his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs> 